Lionel Trains is one of the most famous and most respected model train manufacturers, but even the biggest companies have their flops. So today we're going to look at what might be the worst Lionel locomotive ever made. Let's move over to the table and check out this locomotive. Well, here it is, guys. What I think might be Lionel's worst engine. So this came in a collection that I picked up a few weeks ago. And right off the bat, I noticed that it was not the same quality that I'm used to with Lionel products. And that I'm sure a lot of you are used to as well. When I'm looking at model trains, I sort of judge them on three different axes, if you will. Realism, is this something that you can see in real life? Durability, how is this gonna perform? How is this gonna run? That sort of thing, you know, is this a good quality running engine? Will it last you a long time like a Lionel product should? And three, the detail. Is this a high-end detailed item or is this cheaply made and unconvincing looking? So let's look at this under those three scales. Is this a realistic engine? Is this a durable and good performing engine? And is this a detailed engine? First of all, let's look at the end here really quick. This is a Southern 240 steam locomotive and tender. So it's number 2000. Let's hop over to Google and see if there actually was a Southern Railway 2000 that looks like this engine. So as we found out there, there was actually not a locomotive that looked like this in real life on the Southern Railroad. So to me, that automatically fails the realism aspect of our test here. But let's take the engine out and see if it's a good detailed model, if this thing is going to look convincing on a layout, even though, you know, that might not be a prototypical engine model. Okay, here is our locomotive. And the first thing that I see here is that this thing is completely plastic and it is just one big shell. There's nothing separately applied on this that I can see. It looks like maybe at one point there was a bell there that has fallen off at some point between it being made and me getting it. But yeah, this is pretty much just one big piece of plastic and there's a very obvious seam line down the middle here where they clearly took the two halves of the shell and put it together. Uh, also, the massive gear uh, sticking out of the wheels here is not very convincing looking either. I think that might be my biggest deterrent of this engine. Let's keep looking around. You know, the, the green is all just, it's not painted. This is the color of the plastic. They did paint over the white side and the white number there, but I mean, it's not, super crisp. I'm not sure if you can see that the white here is kind of a little bit washy. It's already kind of fading at some points too. Also, we can see the can motor under there. I don't like how well all the electronics are exposed. I mean, the, if you flip this thing over, you can see everything. And even from the side, even at track level, you know, you're seeing a lot more of the frame and of the technology than I would like to. But all in all, I mean, this is not a very great looking engine. Dummy front coupler, unfortunately, that is a common thing on most 027 engines. I can't fault just this engine for that, but certainly not a plus by any means. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This might be one of the cheapest looking Lionel engines I've seen. Also, we need to mention that this is one of those engines they made where only the back driving wheel is connected to the piston. That is really, really bad looking, in my opinion. That's something they did a lot in starter sets in the 90s and 80s and maybe a little bit into the 2000s. I'm sure it was just a cost cutting measure, but I mean, it just doesn't look right. It just look, gives it a total toy look. So yeah, not very impressed by the locomotive there, but let's see if the tender can save it a little bit here. I mean, a tender is just a piece of rolling stock, right? It shouldn't be that hard to, to make that look good. I have a feeling we're gonna be surprised by this one though, because I've already taken a look at this engine and it, it does not look really, really good either. I'm gonna hold off on, on showing you guys, to me, the least appealing part of this. But first, let's look around, you know, just says Southern on the side, not necessarily in the right font. Um, again, just one big molded piece of plastic. A lot of the plastic here is very sharp and rigid too. It also just feels like this thing wants to come apart, which is a little questionable to me. Uh, headlight on the tender, but there actually isn't a headlight in there. There's just the molding of the casing for it. Um, I mean, not a great looking tender by any means, but I think to me, the part that just totally destroys this model and the way that it looks on layouts is this. So this is a molded and coloed. Obviously that is not the problem here. That is very common on all these engines. But why is it not painted? Have you guys ever seen a, tr a steam locomotive with green coal? I mean, that's something out of a horror movie. This is like totally just kills the model for me personally. I mean, when you put this together and when you look at it like this, I think that's the most jarring thing to me is that there's just completely discolored coal. 
I can't imagine how little it would have cost to go in and paint that. And I think that really would have saved this model in my opinion. But I think that makes this probably one of the least realistic Lionel engines that I've ever seen. So we clearly don't have a good looking locomotive here. It clearly fails the detail and realism tests, but how does it perform? Let's go over to my store layout and take a look. So I put the engine on the inside track of my store layout, connected it to seven or eight freight cars, and was really just not blown away by the performance of this engine at all. I think the biggest fault with this locomotive is it's super lightweight, so it really doesn't have much pulling power. It struggled to pull eight 027 freight cars, which are really, in, you know, in theory, what this thing is supposed to be able to pull. The best way that I can describe this engine is that it is jittery. It really doesn't pick up connection well from the track, and I think that's because it's very, very light. It also, like I said, cannot pull very well. It likes to start and stop and just kind of shake around. I think that this really is the main issue with this engine from a performance standpoint. So, yeah, not a great runner by any means. To me, this engine fails all three of those tests we mentioned earlier. But if for some reason you would like this engine, it will be for sale in my model train store, Cadence's Rail Yard. We're open every day. If you want to come by and see this and some hopefully better locomotives in stock, I would love to see you in the store. In the meantime, though, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.